How does sound absorption work? I found this little ball in my son's toys. And look, when I, when I drop it on this floor, it, it bounces for quite a while. So every time this ball bounces, it loses a little, little energy, and that's why it dies out. So this is the same thing that when a sound wave is bouncing inside a room, back and forth between different surfaces, that would be a very reverberant room if, if the sound behaves like this when it hits the surface. Now, just by adding a little piece of paper, look at the difference here. It dies out almost immediately just from this thin little surface because now it loses a lot more energy every time it, it hits the surface. So, so this is the, like if you add sound absorbing materials in, inside a room, you can make sure that the sound dies out more quickly. And now it's also important to remember that this is perhaps only then for one frequency. I would have, need to have different ball, balls for different frequencies. And, and these balls also would have different bouncy properties, which means that some balls would bounce even though I've added the paper or not. So that in those cases, you might need something thicker to, to make sure that it dies out like, like so. so uh, that, that's basically how you, how you can treat a room and, and make it less reverberant. Add soft materials on the walls and the thicker the better. That's one way of doing it. And in today's video I'm wearing a purplish jacket, white shirt and some white jeans and a little orange pocket square. Quite casual outfit which is uh, very nice if you want to look dapper while crawling around on, on the floor. Have a nice weekend!